Hey friends, tonight we are hanging out at Epcot for the International Festival of the Arts 2023. This is one of my all-time favorite festivals because of all the bright, unique looking food and also all the artwork around World Showcase. And I figured we'd come on out, eat lots of food, give you guys a tour, and have an artful Epcot kind of night. Anywho's, let's go do this. Disney has invited me out so that I can show you guys all of the new offerings for this year's Festival of the Arts and I'm excited to eat some food and also Figment is back with his popcorn bucket. If you guys recall, last year Disney debuted a Figment popcorn bucket at the Festival of the Arts and it was such a smash success. People were waiting like 10 hours for it and it continued like that for weeks afterwards. And I think this year they learned from their mistakes and they have a virtual queue set up and it's in a separate uh, building called Figment's Inspiration Station. And inside there they have tons of food like a Skittles rainbow cake and also this really awesome pop tart. So we'll probably be checking that out as soon as we get in there. A lot of people always ask me if I have any tips for coming to any of these festivals at Epcot and I have to say get yourself one of these gift card wrist straps because it comes in handy. You don't want to be pulling out your card all the time and also you can kind of budget a little bit better and this year they're really fancy. Look at this. On top of all the awesome food and let me tell you something there's some pretty crazy food items at this year's festival including like a fruit pizza which looks really cool because it's a watermelon slice but on top of all the cool food they have Disney on Broadway here too so we're gonna be seeing some of our favorite Broadway singers every single night and that's like that's just an added benefit just like every festival, I'm gonna try to show you guys a little bit of everything. And this year, like I said, they have so many awesome things. Pan-seared scallops, there's the fruit pizza and the rainbow cake, and then here's the angry crab. I don't know if I'm gonna try that. Maybe I will, maybe I will. <laughs> I think we're gonna head straight back to the inspiration station. That's the new building where they have the figment popcorn buckets and try some of the food there first. Here is Figment's inspiration station. This is the newest thing to the festival this year. We're gonna head on in and grab some of the food items and then I'm gonna give you a little tour of the inside. And here it is. This is where you get the fruit pizza, the pop dart, the rainbow cake, and the rainbow beer flight. And I think we're gonna do all of that. Really trying to taste the rainbow today. Okay, like I mentioned before, this is the Figment Popcorn Bucket Pickup Station inside Figment's Inspiration Station. And because of that, it is incredibly busy in there. So I got all of the food. I'm gonna show you the food, we're gonna try it, and then I'm gonna point out some of the things in there and go over the process for how you wanna get that popcorn bucket. All right, let's take a look at some of the food. Up first, we have the fruit pizza, which is a watermelon slice with compressed cantaloupe on it. Look at that. A uh, berries and then a berry balsamic. And then over here, we have the popped art. And this is a sugar cookie with blueberry filling. And then we've got the Skittles rainbow cake. This is actually a cake slice weighed with freeze-dried Skittle pieces. You can see them on top. And then we got the rainbow beer flight. I like this one a lot, but I'm not a big fan of fruity beers, so I'm hoping they're not all fruit beers. Maybe they're just like colored fruity, you know? I got to sample some of these items at the media event that we had the other day, but luckily today we're going to be with a big group of people, so we're going to be able to try lots of food, and we're going to be able to share it all amongst our little group. I love coming to opening day festivals because it's kind of like a friend's reunion. You, you have no idea how many people we're going to probably see today. All right, we're going in for the rainbow cake slice first. Look at this though. I love trying to cut it and actually get a little bit of every single layer. Oh no, oh, cake down, put that cake down. Now I'm gonna cut on this side. I lost a whole chunk there. Oh no. Here we go, rainbow cake slice. That's good, tastes just like the rainbow, very fruity. Very moist. Honestly, I really do love this cake. I'm not a big fan of the freeze-dried Skittles, though. They taste kind of funny. They have, a, they have a unique texture to it. And now we're going to dive into the popped art. And look at this. Look how soft this is. It's like, well, it's like a sugar cookie. And it doesn't, like, I, I don't think it's going to have that dry taste to it, though. Little blueberry delight. 
this is actually really, really good. Very soft, not dry, and the blueberry filling is delicious. Very flavorful. And now I think we're going to grab a drink. I'm going to sample some of Figment's inspiration beer here. We got the 81 Bay Green with uh, NB Blonde Ale. And then we've got a Butterfly Lager. And then a Raspberry Blackberry Midwest Fruit Tart. Right there. I, I think we should start on this side. Just going to knock them all out. One, one, two, three. Bing, bang, bang. Bing, bang, bang. <laughs> You don't want to spill these because they can probably stain your clothing, especially if you're wearing a white t-shirt. But here we go. Here's the first one. Ooh, that's actually really good. I think that's the 81 Bay one. Now try this one. Even better. Uh-oh, we got some wind here. It's a windy day. And now we're going to try this one. I'm not too sure I'm going to like this one. Oh, oh, don't like that one at all. Very tart. Very tart. That was so tart. That last one. It's a raspberry blackberry. I mean, it says Midwest fruit tart. I'd have to say the blue butterfly lager is my favorite. The middle one. Other than that, all of it is actually really fun. It's cool just being able to try it all. And now it's time we get down to the fruit pizza. Look at this. Oh, I got a seed in my watermelon. I like this though. It looks really fancy and I'm excited to try this cantaloupe, the compressed cantaloupe. Not too sure if I can give this like a pizza rating. You got no flop there, nice little undercarriage, can't fold it over. I mean it's a fruit pizza but we're going in for it. Here we go. It's very unique. Very unique. It's definitely not you what you would think it is. I kind of like it a lot though. Are you? It being the Festival of the Arts, you never know what famous artist you might come across. Andy Warhol here. Wow, I'm impressed. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for stopping me. I'm, I'm very glad. I'm, I'm glad to meet all my fans here. Festival of the Arts. I have a booth over over in the uh, Brazil Pavilion. If you want to stop by there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I never knew Andy Warhol was such a fan, uh, or I, d I didn't know he loved the theme parks as much as uh, he did, you know? You'd be surprised. I mean, Mickey and Minnie's is based off of my artwork, so... Yeah, very, very, very cool. <laughs> that was funny. That's actually my friend Ryan for love of theme parks, and he is taking it to a next level. And out of all the food that was inside of Figment's Inspiration uh, Station, I have to say I love the rainbow cake the most. I mean, the beer flight was okay, but the rainbow cake really hit home for me now we're gonna head into figment's inspiration station like i said it was a little bit busier before and i think it definitely calmed down a little bit but i can show you some of the stuff in here oh boy it's kind of like elbows to elbows here but it's awesome because they call it the inspiration station because a lot of figment's inspiration and original artwork is in here which is kind of cool. Ooh, and also, right up there is an original animatronic from Figment when it opened in the park. So, how cool is that? And then right over here is the Figment popcorn bucket pickup station. You have to actually mobile order the popcorn bucket and then they'll give you a virtual queue or return time to come get it. And right now they're still selling them it looks like. So, you can still get it, it's not sold out. It's still extremely crowded inside Figment's uh, <laughs> inspiration station, but we do have a return time to come get our Figment popcorn bucket, and that is later on today. So we'll come back and check it out. Maybe it'll dull down a little bit, but there's a lot of cool details in there. I can't wait to show you. Another new thing this year is they got rid of the donut box and they replaced it with Modern. And this is a little bit of a fancier food sampling, I would have to say. They've got compressed watermelon taki. They've got angry crab, which is the whole crispy soft shell crab. Pan skeared scallops, the tropics, and then a watermelon Mary. That sounds really interesting. So I think we're going to indulge a little bit. Dive in. Like I said, luckily we are meeting up with some friends because this food booth itself has a 30 minute wait to actually get food. Isn't that crazy? 30 minutes, I mean, and that's only the tip of the iceberg because I'm sure it's gonna get busier once we get into World Showcase, but I uh, happen to have some friends who already ordered some of the food. 
Here is Maria with LBV TV. And then Promise, Promise Hope, and you guys got the food. Yeah. You got the food. Minute 30 minute wait. Yeah, we're, I don't know, Nate, Promise, we're gonna have to like do shifts. This is crazy. <laughs> That's a whole crab. That's a whole crab. So we're gonna eat the shell. Nate, Promise, will you do it with me? Yes. Oh, Nate, yes. Bad crab and shell. Yeah, yeah I've, had, I've had a bad <laughs> crab experience before. <laughs> so, so, okay, I'm a little nervous about choking on it. I know. Oh, this that's the watermelon, watermelon taki. Sushi. I joke with promise. I think that Disney bought too many watermelons and it's in all the food now. Oh, they're going all out. Oh, the watermelon Mary. The watermelon, <laughs> and then there's the watermelon pizza. Yep. Like, they're, they're gone. They're yep. So and then this, um, I, you know, again, pineapple. I think at least there's no watermelon. Yeah. That's true. Wow, this is going to be fun. I mean, we're going to dive in. Yeah, and this yeah. is a new booth. I don't, I'm not. I'm. I'm so nervous about this crab. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I am. Look at that. It doesn't look right. It like it doesn't oh. looks like a like a science that's fiction a, creature. That's like, a pincher. You, I mean, that's, a pincher. that's a pincher. <laughs> oh my god! It is. All right. I don't believe we're doing this. All right. So you're gonna take the pincher. Okay. I'll take one for the Promise team. Promise is taking the pincher. It literally looks. It's a claw. Do I just break it off? I feel break bad. me off a piece of that yeah, soft shell crab. I feel bad for Sebastian. I don't know. That looks a little hard. All right. Crab. Okay. Oh my god. I'll take a pincher too. Uh, I'll take a. Is that a pincher? I don't even know what it is. Uh, I don't know. The body? Oh, that is a pincher. That is that's a pincher. A, that's a pincher. I'm taking a pincher. Yeah. I'm, I'm not this. as brave. I'm taking like a fry. <laughs> Look at this. All right. All right. Cheers. Sink it and sink it. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, it's Hold like up. A, oh, my. It's calamari. That's amazing. That's, yeah, it's, it's like, like calamari. Wow. Oh, I was expecting us to have like a choking problem. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, that's what happened to me last time. Yeah, oh my gosh. That's this great. Is really good. Really good. Yeah. It tastes wow. like a french fry. Yeah. Yeah. It's very tasty. Fuck. I don't think I would eat it like again, but for like. Fun. Not for fun. Yeah, it's not like yes, honestly. I like, this is my dream. But I know people that live in like Maryland and stuff. Like, yeah. This is a thing. It's, it's actually food. really good. Like it's like this. It's like a seafood bear claw. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. Oh yeah, look at the spider. <laughs> now we're going to try the watermelon takati. I, I have a hard the time taki, saying things, taki. 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 And I, I, I want to keep on saying modern or modern or moderny. Like, <laughs> like <Yeah>. moderna. Moderna. <laughs> no, that's something different. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think they just don't emphasize on the E. I think they say moderna. Modern. It's weird. But do the wasabi with it. So I'm going to take some watermelon wasabi yes. here. Just a little bit of like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not that much. Not that much. Not oh that God. much? Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm panicking doing, now. Let's see what, ha you It'll be what spicy. happens. No! What are you doing? <laughs> I've really never had wasabi before, but you guys are freaking out. It's like horseradish. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. Ooh. There it goes. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. No. no I mean, I like it. I like the. I like the watermelon. The wasabi is a little spicy. Yeah. Okay? Uh, I don't think I like it. <laughs> the water? experience oh. also. The watermelon, Mary, is not good? I feel like I just had wasabi, but it's... Oh, it's spicy! It's spicy! The watermelon Mary is spicy? spicy? Wait. Oh, oh, oh. I gotta try it now. Oh. All right, modern. We oh now God. I gotta try this, oh even God. though I just did the wasabi here. Oh, my God. With the boba oh straw, so get some of the beads in there. Oh, yeah, it is. It's, it, it, I don't like, like it. <laughs> It's like tomato and spice and watermelon. Yeah. A it's funny. Out of everything here, I bet I would have oh. thought the watermelon stuff would have been the safe bet. Yeah, I mean, so if you like wasabi and stuff like that, it's good. But the best thing that I've had so far has been the crab. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, and, and that's crazy. I really didn't think that was going to happen. No. I feel like this is like a random. Yeah, this is like I a... feel like this is probably the most unique booth actually so far between the crab the moose the watermelon sushi the watermelon mary i mean it's an experience on its own yes. now you said there was a scallop but it was seven dollars for one scallop yeah, that size one scallop yeah. like, no we don't got that coming no. nope <laughs> Now that we got to try another booth, I think it's time we go check out some art or some activities. And one of the returning things for Festival of the Arts that everyone loves is the paint by numbers. We're gonna see how long the line is and maybe we'll do it, but I've done it every single year, ever since the very first Festival of the Arts. So I've always contributed to the artwork here at uh, Epcot. And I think that's kind of fun. 
Here is the paint by number murals, and these are the ones we're going to be painting this year, and they'll change throughout the whole entire festival. I like it. They've got a whole bunch of different ones. You got, of course, Figment, and then you come up and they give you your paint and a paintbrush, and then a number that you have to, you have to paint. So either 14 or 11. Let's see, I'm going to take 11 because I like it. Oh, no, I like uh, 10. 10. I like orange. And then you go paint this number. And this is the mural itself. This is what it's starting off to be. I think this is gonna be the Figment one. I can kind of see Figment's eyes right here. So that's really cool. And once you get done painting your spot, you get a little bookmark. And this is what it was, I was right. We painted Figment. Enough of the paint by number business. It's time we dive into our first booth inside World Showcase and that's here in Mexico and they have the carne asada and then they also have a nice little flan too. A little coconut flan. So we might actually get some of those. I don't know if I want to get a drink. Even though the marshmallow margarita sounds good, maybe that'll be for another day. But they have a lot of good stuff here. It's crazy, we have tried so much food already and we are just starting to head into World Showcase. Like there's so many things on the outside and we even missed a booth. So we'll definitely have to come back and also check out some of the merchandise. If you guys haven't noticed, I'm actually wearing a really cool shirt today. This is a Roosevelt shirt, but it's a trapper keeper like from the 90s. Look at this pocket. I absolutely love it. Do you guys remember this pattern? I am I am obsessed with these now. But if you guys want, there's a promo code in the description, PMM20, if you guys want to try it off your first purchase because it's so cool. And here is a look at the food. We ended up getting the carne asada. This is the coconut flan. Yes. That's the flan. And then the marshmallow margarita. Look at that. I was like, oh, this seems like it's going to be really good. Mm -hmm. You can't pass it up. You already tried some. It's good. So good. It has Moscow in it, and I already think Moscow tastes like marshmallow. Oh, ah, like a little so toasted. It's just like a smoky toasted marshmallow margarita. Sixteen fifty, but it's really good, and I think sixteen fifty. Yeah. Well, Monica, the manager, actually gave it to us. Complimentary. Oh, so I love that. I, I lucked out, but I would spend another sixteen fifty on it. Very cool. I think I'm gonna try the marshmallow margarita first. Oh wow, that is really good. Holy moly. You can taste the mascal and then the marshmallow. So it's it's like a like a sweet, like almost like smoky. Smoky? Yeah, because you got like toasted marshmallows in there. I love that. That is really, really good actually. It also looks Enough of the margarita business. Now it's time for the carne asada with the sweet potato puree. Look at this actually. This looks incredible. Holy moly. Wow. I kind of want to get a little bit of these onions in there, along with the steak. That's the way. Here we go. That might have done it for me. Holy moly. That might be my favorite thing at the festival right now. This is literally so good. Just a sweet potato puree with the steak combination. Very good. Marinated, nice, cooked perfectly. I'm in love. I won't say I'm in love. Get in my belly. <laughs> okay. We're diving into the coconut flan. Wait, we're good. Cheers. Oh, yeah, we Let's cheers cheer. our flan. We gotta dink it and sink it. <laughs> dink it and sink cheers. it. This is dangerous, <laughs> This is very dangerous. This is flan dangerous. <laughs> coconut flan. I hope I don't drop my flan. And this is why Mexico. Mm. Wow. That is so good. Mexico's killing it. Ashlyn, you're shaking your head, yep. Amazing. So good. This is the best. So far, I have to say, I, I think Mexico has been the best boot so far for me. The flan is fantastic. When you're going back in, we try to we try to only do like one one bite because we're gonna be eating so much food. But when you're going back in, like it, it, it just shows you how good it is. And the flan is good, the steak is good, the marshmallow, home run, home run Mexico. Mexico was very impressive and now we're gonna keep moving along. I don't know if we're gonna get a little bit from every booth We've already tried probably I'd say 15 items like that's crazy and uh, we have a lot more to go 
as we make our way through World Showcase. It's so windy out right now, but we came across the Painted Panda, and they have some cool stuff here. They have a General Sal's Chicken Shumai, and then a Char Siu Pork Bun, but I think the line is a little bit too long. The Sea Butterfly we've had before. I've had, I, I've had all these drinks, actually. I think the Hard Lemonade might be new, but the food kind of seems like the same, and there's a, I mean, it's like probably a 20, 25, 30 minute wait. As you're walking through World Showcase, you're gonna see tons of different art stands, and I always see reoccurring ones that I'm like, one of these days I'm gonna buy that. And I always say it, and then I never actually do buy it. Maybe today will be different. This art stand right here has a picture that I constantly say I want, and it's all of World Showcase. Look at this. Sunset Lagoon. It's $950, and it's so beautiful because it still has the little earth from Illuminations in it. Isn't that cool? It's the way that they stack all of World Showcase up in one picture. I love this one so much. I love all of this art. It's all beautiful. So you don't Another fun thing that they do is the spin art. Look at this. Oh wow! That is so fun. Oh my god! I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ride the bike the one year. Oh yeah. At the same time, it looks a mess. Yeah. It looks fun. And it's only nineteen dollars for one experience, and I think it's like. Uh, $30 for two. Yeah, you pay to eat and then you pay to come exercise. And to make art. And make art. <laughs> I made my way over to Germany and here is some of the food items that they got going on. They have a red wine braised short rib, which sounds amazing. A wild boar. Wow, wild boar sausage. And then a black forest cake. This all looks amazing. I feel like we should definitely come back for this, but the, this one is another long, long line. Look at that. Holy moly. But it looks so good. I'm definitely going back to Germany to try that wild boar because I've never had boar before but we have somewhere we need to go and we have to meet up with some friends over in Italy. And here it is, the Italy booth. They have the mozzarella frita and it comes with this little like paint palette. So you actually decorate it and paint it. And then they have a mushroom ravioli, wild mushroom stuffed pasta with truffle butter, and then some chocolate pudding too. But I guess we're all in it for the mozzarella frita. I mean, it's the way to go. Here it is, the mozzarella frita. Is that what you would call it? And it's, all, what are the different condiments though? So that's balsamic vinaigrette. Uh, you have a olive. This looks uh, like a pesto. pesto like some marinara. Pesto. And then an aioli. And an aioli. Yeah. Aioli. 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 <laughs> so <laughs> I guess we're going to decorate it a little bit. For, uh, what? Ooh. Yeah. The story. There you go. I don't know what I just did. I mean, that's just, that's art. You did art. It's art? Yes. I'm doing art? Yeah. Do little dots. Everywhere. I don't want to cross contaminate on the spoon. Yeah, it's okay. That's okay. Okay, then I'll be the judge. I'm trying to like, like do little, little drops. Hopefully look, that's not look, hot Maria sauce. did like a, a so, stripe thing. Oh, I'm trying to do the oh. spin art. So, oh, you're doing spin art. Okay, here. You're having an yeah. art. Oh, yeah, there we go. We're doing the spin, spin art. art. Ready? <laughs> I don't think I'm doing it too good. Amazing. Oh, well, well yours your, actually your looks good. Your spin art actually looks pretty amazing. Yeah, yours My, looks better. Uh, Jackson Pollock <laughs> inspired. That's too funny. But that's probably going to taste better. Now we got to try it. Okay, I shall see. Here we go. We're going mozzarella Frida now that we decorated it. Oh, it tastes nice. Very light. Yeah. Kind of like a mozzarella stick. That's what I was thinking. It's a mozzarella round. <laughs> the mozzarella Frida is actually really fun, but it's more gimmicky. It's just, you know what I mean? It's, it's there to paint, but they also have the mushroom ravioli. I kind of want to try it, but I'm not the biggest fan of mushrooms, so I don't know if I'll like it. I, I mean, I might as well, might as well try it at least once. Normally, Italy has overpriced food and it's not really worth the value, but this is actually looking pretty cool, especially when they added the little paint, you know, paint by mozzarella thing. And now we're diving into mushroom ravioli. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I, I'm a little biased because I don't like mushroom, but. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I'm sure if you love mushroom, you're gonna love that ravioli. Do you like mushroom? You know, I've been known to like a mushroom. Yeah. Or two. 
We caught it! <laughs> Camera down. Camera down. Mushrooms down. It is very mushroomy. For yes. Someone who doesn't like mushrooms, I enjoy it. It's good. Especially a vegetarian option, like it is really good. Dustin, did you like it? Loved it. <laughs> Loved it. Loved it. Loved it. <laughs> Now that we have tried the mozzarella frita and a little bit of the mushroom ravioli, which, I, like I said, I'm sure a lot of people do like it. I think uh, my friend Dustin, he really enjoyed it. He likes mushroom and Promise enjoyed it. Now I think we're gonna backtrack to go back and get the boar. I have to try the boar. Uh, it's something I'm just kind of so excited for. We made it back to Germany and there's a little performance here. She's actually the uh, singer or the voice of Jasmine that does the uh, Broadway in Germany. Hanover, Germany to Orlando, Florida, Epcot Center. I'm very, very happy to be That's awesome. This is Simon on guitar. It looks like we got everything from Germany, and when I say that, I mean we got everything. <laughs> Look at this. Chris is holding up the <laughs> flight. There's a rosé flight, but here it is. Here is the boar, the That's wild good. boar. That looks amazing. The chocolate cake, which looks even better. Oh, yeah. And then the short rib, which I think the short rib was my favorite thing from last year. Look at the mashed potatoes and the broccolini. This is going to be some but good I food. I have an important question. Did yeah. we get forks? Ah, oh, 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 there he goes. Oh, yeah. What a champ. <laughs> there you go. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Last year, I'm pretty sure that short rib was my favorite thing at Festival of the Arts, but I have a high expectation for the wild boar, so we're going to start with that first. Here is the wild boar sausage. I'm going to take a little bite. Look at this. I am so excited. Like I said, I don't think I've ever had boar, and I really wanted to try it when I went to Jico. That was going to be my first time, but I guess here at the uh, Festival of the Arts will be my first. Wild boar. That's really good. Wow. I like this a lot, actually. Honestly, I love the wild boar sausage, but we still have the duck confit in there and the ham hock. We got some ham hocks over here! Some ham hocks! And I'm excited to try it. I mean, the, the, the boar was good on its own, but like there's so much more to this dish than just the boar. Now we're going in on the duck confit. That's such a great dish. Holy moly. Wow. Now it's time to go in from last year's favorite, the short rib. Look at this. If that's I right. Nate, you knew what you were talking about. Yeah, remember last year this was my favorite thing on the whole entire festival. So I'm excited to see if it still holds that title. A little short rib, a little red wine. Wow. That still might be my favorite thing in the festival. Honestly, I really think I have to say that is going to be my favorite thing in the festival again. Now, I do got to try this cake though. How do you cut into this cake? So black forest. So if you see the inside, it's filled with cherries oh. and chocolate mousse. Yeah. So I guess what it's, well, I'm going to maybe just try some on this side. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Let me see here. I'm just going to grab, grab some cherries, like get a little bit of everything. The wild boar is fantastic, and the short rib. It's gonna be hard for anything to top that short rib, but now we have to try the chocolate cake here. Mm. Wow, 
it's gonna be a tough tie between the best food today because I really feel like Germany might overtake Mexico. Mexico was fantastic, but everything here is just slapping. It's hitting hard. A blonde, a rose blonde, a rose blonde ale. ale. Yeah. Oh, yeah. they have like a rose flight, and it comes with like the frozen rose, and then also a rose beer. So I think I'm gonna, I'll try the beer. Good. What'd you try that? Cider. It's actually very good. Did you try the rose frozen? Oh, might as well. Hey. Whoa. Oh, Opa. 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 Cheers. A little rose beer. Oh, this is actually. Yeah, uh, at first I was like, this isn't bad, but now I'm like, does it taste like a rosy? Don't taste rosy. It just, I don't know. It, it, I feel like it's a beer trying to be something else. Germany was a success and we got lots of food and now we made our way over to America and I haven't done any of the cool photo opportunities so I think we're gonna hop in one since we're over here. This one's always a popular one. I can do. I can't do that one. Oh, you can't? I can't. Oh, I, know. I want to. I want to, but I can't. Okay. Okay, change it up. <laughs> Those photo opportunities are all fun, and you get to have fun with it. It's not just one thing you have to do. You can, you know, do your own thing, but Chris did something they didn't like. I don't know what you did, though. I covered my mouth like I was getting seasick. Oh, and that was no good. They were like, no don't good. do it. Yeah, I can't. They don't... <laughs> You can't cover your mouth like you're Wow, yeah. I couldn't see the picture. Yeah. But that's so funny. And now, since we're over here, we're gonna go to the American booth. And this one I'm excited for, because it's got the meatloaf. And I just want to scream, Mom, the meatloaf, <laughs> like so loud, but I'm not gonna do it. But I want to. The more I look at this menu, the more I get excited. Three meat meatloaf with green pea pudding, carrot ketchup, shaved carrot salad, and snap peas, and then duck dumplings, a hummingbird cake. Look at how all amazing this all looks. Oh boy, I didn't think it can get better than Germany, but I might be wrong. And a beer flight. And look how easy this is. They are magic. Isn't it? It's so, it's so convenient. I, I never get them though. It's like too easy to spend money when I do that. Yep. And just missing the meatloaf. Ma, the meatloaf! <laughs> I believe in you, look at you. Oh wow. Here we go, we got the whole entire menu, and this is a lot of food. But I'm excited, I'm excited for the meatloaf most, so I think I'm gonna save that for last. I am a little nervous about the carrot ketchup, because I do not like ketchup. So this is like carrot puree, but do they add ketchup in it? I don't know, I'll find out, I'm eating it as is. Look at this, here's the duck, the meatloaf, the hummingbird, the chocolate, the beer flight, everything. Oh, you're going for the meatloaf? I'm going in for it. It's oh. Meatloaf. <laughs> Ma! The meatloaf! Is it good? It's definitely worth screaming for mom to. Yeah? <laughs> All right, I'm trying the duck first. Look at this, duck dumpling. Look at that, look at the portion size. The value of this is amazing. I think the most expensive thing was like $7 food-wise. And you get like good pieces of duck. Like, look at that. Ooh, squirrel, duck. <laughs> I'll never forget the one time I went to Morimoto to try duck and I didn't know they didn't just serve duck to one person so I had to order the whole duck. I ate a whole duck. Like a peking duck? Yeah, yeah. like they, they literally brought out this whole duck on a tray for me and I ate a whole duck. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy, I right? That I would do that right yeah, now. Yep, so here we go. Mm. That's good duck, wow. I'm eating Donald right now. <laughs> Chris, that hat. <laughs> and the ricotta dumpling is really good too. This whole this whole meal. Yeah, get on it right there. Yeah, with the little carrots. This is a good I, like I'm impressed. Alright, gotta give the food a break and try the beer. And I think the first one I'm going with is the farmhouse ale from Kansas City. I think I'm going the right way. I never know which way it actually goes. So I just try to guess. Well, that tastes like a farm. 
I feel like this is the farmhouse ale. Mm-hmm. It's actually really good though. What's the middle one? This is an amber ale. Oh, yep, I was right then, so this has gotta be the amber. It has to be. Oh wow, this is really good. Very light, not hoppy on any of it. Like the farmhouse ale, like it tastes good, but it's not very hoppy. Ooh. Ho, 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 ho. Whoa. That one's supposed to be the 8.8% .8 one. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that creeped up on me. That's up my alley. The three philosophers. I think that's what this one is, right? Has to be. Well, what's crazy though is the Ooh. 7 is 8.3. 8 and yet it's really smooth. It goes down really nice. I wonder what's in this because this is cool. There you go, the Mozart. I'm shocked. Like, the, so the farmhouse ale one is the one that's eight percent. So I have no idea what this one is. This one right here is the Three Philosophers Cooperstown Brewing, and oh my lord, try it! All right. Tell me. I'm a little nervous. It's it it definitely like I could taste the alcohol. Woo. Right? It gives you the jibbers. It gives you the jibbers. <laughs> Whatever those are. Shivery it gives jibbers. It to you. Yeah. All right. Now. Now. It's time for the meatloaf. I'm gonna use a nice clean fork. I'm gonna cut the meatloaf right here. Take a look on the inside. Look at that. Three meat, they say, three meat. Here we go, the moment of meatloaf. It's good. It's not like the best meatloaf I've ever had. It's very loafy. Does that make sense? Like. No, it's like very it's tight. Not, it's not the meatloaf, meat yeah. yeah. Like sometimes meatloaf is like runny, but it's yeah. very loafy. Yeah. So that means I think they added extra breadcrumbs, less yes. egg. Yeah. It's very loafy. And the carrot ketchup isn't bad. It do, I mean, I don't taste ketchup. I actually do enjoy the ketchup. Mom, I'm eating ketchup. <laughs> From meatloaf to hummingbird cake. Look at this. What's in a hummingbird cake? Hummingbirds. Bananas. Bananas? <laughs> Yeah. So what is this right bread? here? It's basically banana yeah. bread. That, that is a banana sorbet. That's what we need. We need some sorbet on that. Grab a little bit of this, a little bit of that. That's the way. Here we go, hummingbird. That's really good. Yeah, holy moly. This might be my favorite dessert. I'm really shocked by this. This might top the the rainbow cake and the chocolate cake, the hummingbird cake is probably all the way. Wow. No joking. Honestly, I wish I had more meatloaf to go with my potatoes though. We got no more meatloaf. All right, well now that is America checked off the list. And it was good. I mean, I don't think the meatloaf lived up to my expectation, but the duck was phenomenal. And I love the hummingbird cake. The hummingbird cake was probably the star of the show here at the artist table, but the duck was a close second. The duck was very, very good. Now it's time to move along to Japan. And I'm getting so cold right now. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah, I should have brought a fancy little jacket like you. Cold Look at, at you! <laughs> it's not cold at all. I really need to invest in pants. <laughs> Just a single pair of pants. And Maria says the reason we moved to Florida is so she doesn't have to wear pants. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Here is a look at the menu in Japan. They've got a rainbow katsu sando. It's like a pork cutlet sandwich. And I don't even know if I said it right, but of course, everyone loves the sushi donut. And they also have like a nice little dessert here too. But it's kind of tradition for us to get the personalized wooden cup. It's sake in a wooden cup and then they write your name on it. So I think that's what we're gonna do. Uh, paging Mr. Amaro. <laughs> so it's uh, P-A-G-I-N-G. Paging. Yep, paging. Like a pager. Yep. Paging. And Mr. Amaro. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
What's yours say? Right down Main Street? No, it says Kristen. Kristen? We all got ourselves a nice little sake box with our names on it and now it's time for our sake cheers and it's so funny like a lot of people actually met each other for the first time at Festival of the Arts last year so it's kind of like a friend's a friend's anniversary here. I love it. <laughs> A one year friend's anniversary. Happy one year anniversary. Yeah. Sure. Grab your sake boxes. Sake box. Sake oh. box. Oh. Cheers. 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 Happy friend's anniversary. Yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this shit did. Cheers. We were all together, together last year, all day at Festival of the Arts. Open. Yep. It was the first time I ever met Promise one year ago. <laughs> I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> With sake in your hands. Yeah. The bone marrow! Yeah. Yep. <laughs> this is very difficult to drink out of and it's very woody. I think I'm gonna try to do a corner, like, corner drink. That's what I did, corner drink. I mean, it's sake, it's good. It'll warm me up a little bit. Now, I also decided on getting the Rainbow Katsu Sandu, which is the pork cutlet sandwich, and it comes with a, like, cabbage and rainbow sweet bread. I'm very excited to try this. It looks really fancy. Hold on. Wow. Look at this. I know. It's very difficult to get out of the box, but look at how pretty that is. Look at that. Here we go. It's the Rainbow Delight. <laughs> I like it. I got a little sandu on my sandwich. This has so many different flavors to it. I do like it. I'm not the big fan of the mayonnaise on the bottom though, so I just ate the top half. You ever do that? You try the onion ginger stuff? Oh no, the slaw itself. Is it good? It's oniony. Wow. I mean, I just like the bread. <laughs> <laughs> that pork sandwich was actually really good and we're gonna take our sakis and uh, move along to the Encanto booth which is a very popular one so hopefully the line isn't too long <laughs> I was excited to actually try something from here, but I'm pretty sure it's all the same exact items from last year, and I've had everything on here. Of course, the chorizo and potato empanada was my favorite, but uh, if they don't have anything new, I might just skip the line so that I can show you something different. It is a fun area, though, so if you do like uh, empanadas, then I suggest coming and checking it out. I have to say, things are creeping up on me and I'm starting to feel a little fall. I thought I was gonna be able to try a little bit from everywhere, like a little bit of everything, but we might have to make this into a part two. Cause I don't know, I'm feeling it. Definitely fall wise. Oh yeah. I'm to get my Hold on, stay still. Stop, hold your finger. There we go. Oh, <laughs> We skipped over France, Morocco, and Encanto, and now we've made our way over to Canada. Now, there's not too many good things that I like in Canada. They have the bone marrow, which honestly, last time I had it, I wasn't a big fan. So I think I'm just gonna have to try maybe one of the drinks and see what other people think of some of the food. Right next to the Canada, I think it's called the Gourmet Landscapes, they have the Poutine Station, and my friend actually got some of it. Is it good? Yes. You like it? Very tasty. What is it? What's on top? The short rib, right? Uh, yes, if I remember right. Yeah, it looks good. I don't know, though. That's a long line. It's busy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this is the best thing I've had. The is it the risotto, or gluten what is it? Gluten-free. Oh, gluten-free. Yeah. So... I just can have some sauce on top or something, but it is so good. It's a truffle risotto. Wow. Yes. And that's like the tartare. Who's yeah, eating that? Me. Ew. Who I is eating that? Six gluten-free things I can have, okay? So I tried them all. <laughs> the tartare. Isn't that just like raw meat? No, it's beet. Oh, it's beet tartare. <laughs> I thought it was beef. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was beef tartare. Oh no, man. It's like marinated beets. Oh, I would have tried that then. 
<laughs> I thought it was beef tartare. Take a bite. Is it good though? It's pretty good. Beets? Yeah. I like beets. Bears? 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 Beets? Battle Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> And I think I'm gonna have to call it quits here, guys. The wind and the temperature is so cold right now. I am freezing. I, I, I've never like had this short of a day at a festival. Look at how windy it is. I'm about to lose my hat. Look at this. Look, it is so bad and it's only 6.53 out right now. So I think we're gonna head home and end the vlog from there because I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just too cold. I'm too cold. And you guys know I couldn't forget about the Figment popcorn bucket. It's the same bucket except for it has the Epcot 40th logo. Let's see how Gracie feels about Figment though. Last year she didn't like them. Nope. Gracie, it's Figment. He's your friend. He's your friend. Figment is your friend. Figment is your friend. Say hi to him. What do you think about that? Look at your butt. You wanna go for a walkie? Huh? What's up, you? Come say hi to Figment. <laughs> Wait, Gracie, hold on. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Gracie definitely does not like Figment. I think that's hysterical how she like came running up the, like running down the steps and then she caught a look at him and like on the corner and then she backed up. She's like, oh no. Oh no, no, no. But. Anywho's, uh, <laughs> I do plan on auctioning off all of my Figment stuff that I got on my next Whatnot uh, auction, which is actually going to be January 17th. We're going to be doing it at 6.30 p.m. And I'm going to put a link in the description if you guys want to auction and bid on some of the cool Figment items that I got. And it's going to be cool. But let me show you what we have first. Of course, we've got the newest Figment popcorn bucket. We got a little Figment magnet here, guy. This is cool, a little wishable or munchiel, munchlings, I wanted to call them wishables. And then we've got the limited release Festival of the Arts Magic Band and some Figment socks. And we'll do all this, I'll put the link in the description if you guys want to check it out, it's on Whatnot. And I've been doing them for a while and I thought it would be cool to have a little uh, imagination added to it. And with that, I think we are done here today. It was a wonderful first day of Festival of the Arts. We're definitely going back for round two. The highlights for me has to be the uh, Mexico booth, the marshmallow margarita, the coconut flan, and then also Germany, short rib, and the uh, wild boar. In America, I absolutely love the duck and the hummingbird cake. There was a lot of great things. Some things I didn't like, some things I loved. But overall, I had a great time making the video. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.